Hello all and welcome back to Out of Chauvenir and this time we have been a bit busy, we've been doing some contracts. Obviously we've got up a bit of money and that's because we did a contract on field 14. Unfortunately when I saved the game and left it, came back in, the contract was gone and all the crop I harvested was gone. Because at the end of it, after harvesting fields 13 and 14, we got just shy of 60,000 litres. So I had to do a bit, a few things off camera, getting the crop back in. So we got 60,000 litres or something. We sell that now and get about, I don't know, 110 grand or so from it. However, I'm going to hold on to it for now because we could potentially. Go ahead and start getting a grain mill in. There's a modern grain mill that obviously very cheap. You can make flour and all that for the bakery and all that down the roads. But also, we've got an opportunity. Oh, got the wrong way. Yeah, it's going to go up here. But yeah, also we've got an. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, I'm not sure what I was going to say. Ah, yeah, that was it. So, yeah, we've got a nice cheap grain mill that we can buy. 23 grand. Obviously, that could be do flour and that for down the road when we sort of want to make, like, bread, cakes. But, in particular, I want to get donuts at some point right on this map. The donut production is about 50 grand. So, all in all, we need about 73 grand. Obviously, we don't have any cereal crop to produce. Obviously, we've got the wheat and that growing. That can be ready till. When will wheat be ready to grow? Or harvest, shall I say? If we have a look up here. So, yeah, wheat, we planted that in October. So, that's going to be ready to harvest in August. So. Yeah, not too bad, so yeah, wait till August before we go anything like that. And of course, by the time August comes, we should have a quite a bit more money because we have been planking along. Of course, we've got a bit of timber here. Also, we've got some pallets of planks. Obviously, we can sell these now, and how much could we get for planks and that potentially? And they'll be down here. Have a look at planks. About 2600 per foul. However, if we go make furniture, we can pretty much add an extra, an extra two grand per thousand litres. So, right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these planks over to oh, yeah, to the carpentry. We've almost got a pallet of furniture already, so but yeah, we're making so much planks, and I've got the production rate of planks, so potentially we can make enough money to get a second sawmill in at some point. Yeah, so let's all try to do two at once. I don't think that's going to work out too well. So yeah, we'll go and get these loaded, take them over to the carpentry, and then we'll see how that sort of copes in that. Come on, there we go. Because we're doubling carpentry production, obviously we're not only doing wood to make furniture, we're also using planks to get furniture, so hopefully that should work out quite well for us. So yeah, we got this all loaded up. And I should just quickly go and accept, not accept, complete the other contracts we did. We did Horizon on field 13, so thank you very much. And we did a plowing contract on field 12, where we leased out the 9 meter plow and thought we'd whack it out, get it all done, and be on our way. So now we're standing at quite a bit of a reasonable amount of cash. And um, yeah, let's try to think what potentially we can do with it. Should we pay off the loan? Well, should, not the entire loan, but some of it. Or should we just keep it for now? I think we'll keep it for now. 
Don't you? How much? Oh yeah, that's one thing we can do. Because I did say I was going to do this. So yeah, 72 grand. I'm thinking, let's pay that five grand emergency loan that we had to take yesterday. But I think, yeah, we could pay off the loan, but also we can use the money now. Put into some productions and that, and we could have our heads off, potentially. But yeah, planks are going in. And if we have a look, 8,000 a year, if that should last us, what, give or take about just under seven months, yeah, just under eight months, so, must be got enough there for now, and any future planks we get in the future, we can just go ahead and directly sell. Yeah, or we can get a second car carpentry business in Potentially, yeah, get multiple different productions and that, but I think we'll leave it there for now. But also, one of the things I did off camera as well, we rolled Field 1, the wheat fields. Of course, do it in the last episode before I realised before skipping ahead. But oh, yeah, we need to roll the field. We've got to lease up the roller, so we got it done. And now all we need to do is fertilise it, and I'm going to give the Surrey a go. I think first of all what we desperately need to do is service the equipment. Both the case and the John Deere are running very low. I've seen this before, I was worrying about whether or not we could get it all done in that, but they get all stuff done with such worn equipment, but no. We actually managed quite well, so yeah, we'll head over to the shop and then we'll get it all serviced and repaired. And there we go, so we'll go and get us all, oh, nope, there we go, got me stuck there. So yeah, we'll go and get all this repaired. Thank you very much. So yeah, all, all in all, not too expensive to get done. So I'm thinking we'll use the John Deere. Well, don't be there. Show you there. But yeah, now we can use the John Deere for some slurry spreading because we've got the rear crop tyres. It's got enough force for power to pull it, especially now with a fully serviced vehicle. So I think it was what, 220 or so horsepower this has got? 228. And slurry tank, 165. But yeah, some power is stored inside over there. Now, I think we just, yeah, get our heads down and uh, get all this sorted. Also, we need to do a bit of spot spraying as well because we are getting some weeds. And actually, also, our environmental score on this field ain't looking too bad. But yeah, you can see like, different parts, like different bits of the field is growing more. I think that's the weeds, right? No, not sh not too sure. But yeah, you see some bits like more grown than others, so not sure on what that is, but we'll keep an eye on that. If certain parts of the field is growing more than the others, yeah, that's something to be concerned about, but hopefully it's not that. But yeah, how like how much is gonna last for? go. See we're putting a variable application rate down so hopefully. And are we using much? Uh, using a little bit of sorry now. Are we down to 90% so I think to be honest the liquid fertilizer or even mineral based fertilizer would be the better option I think. But yeah, so obviously we can buy Surrey on the cheap in that, but yeah, I don't think this is a particularly good idea. Especially not for getting a ton of Surrey from the cows. We've only got another like 17,000 years of Surrey, so 
Who just fills up again one more time and or do you in one pass on the field? And we've got sixty percent of the tank left, so I think a mineral based solution is perhaps the way to go. Also, unfortunately, I wish we got a sort of bigger wrecking width for a spreader, but it is what it is, actually. What is our spreader currently at? Well, 36 meters, so perhaps this is when we did the line, it was shorter than 36 meters, so we'll see how it performs in that, but yeah, I think mineral base is perhaps the solution to go. And also, sort of speaking which with like fertilizer and even seeds and that, essentially what we could do at some point is try to become a bit more self-sufficient and just sort of grow our, not grow, but produce our own seed and fertilizer. Obviously, we've got, got a decent deal with the farmer's supply pack, getting about, was it, no, 5,000 litres of fertilizer for grant? Oh, there's a, was it a job skin? No, the yacht. Jan and Sir Max was 12,000. So we need to get this unloaded. Hopefully, we can unload this into pallets or big bags. Hopefully, so. So, we'll go and see. There we go. That's all sorted. And no, that's seed. And this is fertilizer. But yeah, with Surrey, what we could do is sell it. How much is Surrey going for at the moment? Have a little look. Go to prices. Surrey, eh, not great. Potentially, we could look at finding a different use for Surrey in that. Perhaps a production chain that, that may use Surrey in that, but. So if it is what it is, oops, wrong button there. <laughs> but yeah, so I want so you want automatic application. Try to find. Don't think there's a particular width controller. No, I don't think so. So hopefully it's just, it is just 36 meters, so... Does that look like 36 meters? Yeah. Could be just me and that. Well, of course, you can see we're using quite a bit of fertilizer, just because it's the nature of soil, it has literally zero to or well, loads and none amounts of nitrogen in it, so yeah, of course, it's expected me to put a great amount in. And if we have a look, go to nitrogen. Oh no, we are. Perhaps it's just not showing as, as big. But yeah, so. Yeah, this actually shouldn't take too long. Uh, yeah, we could potentially pre-apply for us on the other fields, but the amount they require depends on what crop we're doing, so I think I won't bother with doing the pre-application on the other fields, but There we go, let's make sure we're applying the correct amount. But yeah, it's automatically applying a certain rate depending on soil type, depending on the crop type, so... I think we'll just get a worker ahead and do this. And potentially with the case in that, what could we do with it? I think we could start doing some... Actually, know what we could do. Actually, does this have an option for narrows? Got 52 grand in that. Oh, it has got narrows on feared, so that is good. It doesn't look narrows, but 
So what we could do is actually start doing the weed in. I think it doesn't matter how we do it, whether we fertilize or weed or weed and fertilize. Obviously we could use a mechanical weeder, but it's already as efficient as in terms of especially in terms of the environmental score and that. It's better to do spot spraying rather than a mechanical weeder. I would have thought it would be the opposite, but that's just me. Please say this has got herbs in it. Yes, it has. Actually, potentially, what we could do buy some more herbicides. Fifteen hundred there for a grand. Just seeing if we could get a better deal. Have a little look. Herbicide, 2400 quid for 2000 litres. Is there anything else? Twelve hundred for a grand. No, sorry, twelve hundred for a thousand liters. Yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and buy some barrels. I think. back and forth on PDH, so we'll make sure I had everything all sorted. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is just sell this sorry spreader. Trying to run along the road. But yeah at some point what we'll do we'll buy a tanker that we'll use to transport the Surrey to I don't know to a Surrey dealer at some point perhaps or use it for a production chain but for now we have no use for Surrey so I should think what we could do for now is have a little silo for store in Surrey, but anywho, so we'll go and repair this. Redo the pink job. And there we go, that's 77 grand there, so that's being right 121 grand now. And that's thing, do we need anything at the moment? Also, one thing I want to get done today is get the grass sorted on field 25, but is grass even going to grow? We can see that now, it's in the growth window, but it ain't going to properly germinate over the winter, so... Yeah, it's a hit and miss thing, but might as well do it. 
Also, what you could do is just start mowing the surrounding areas of the map, or in surrounding areas of our field in there, and just get a bit of grass and get a bit of yeah, just get a bit of what's it, silage in. Obviously, you'll need a bunker. So obviously, there is one for about nine grand. Or it is simply just a bunch of old hard bundles used as a cycle, so we may go ahead and use that for now. I shall get the work on that. But if we go to build mode, go to silos. Actually, do we have a tank for So we've got a big tank there, but again, it's where to put it. Also, one thing I forgot to put is actually a manure heap for the cows. So we'll go and try put something in. There we go. So now we're actually going to get manure from the cows. Also, get a nice big one like this for 15 grand, but. Again, it's just where to put it to. I'm seeing so many trees in the way. So many trees were out of the way, potentially. How does that look? Eh, not too bad. Do a bit of the landscaping work, but. So you'll go and get some landscaping, go to paint. We want concrete. Yeah. There we go. All you need is some form of a forge wagon to get the grass and that up, but that could be done for a different day. And actually, I want to check our mower setup because could we run this on the John Deere? Yes, we can. Just about 210 front and rear, and this has got 228. So, but yeah, I'm just curious to see how much grass we can get. So, we'll go. Put you on at the front, and we'll get the rear on. Also, I do apologize if I am a bit sort of stumbling in that today. Just, yeah, at the moment, not the best. Of Shapes in that feel absolutely like crap. With a sort of perhaps one thing is a little flu in that. Yeah, it's work, feel perfectly fine, apart from just a bit of a poor muscle in my thigh. Nothing be. I thought, yeah, I'll work for it. Got into work, absolutely hot sell in the restaurant, and yeah, out of the blue, I just, yeah, probably went nope. And just overheated like hell, so. Got home and yeah, just went to sleep for a couple of hours and yeah, just felt absolutely crap today. But anywho, perhaps it helps if we put. swaths down to the side. Obviously how much in terms of volume is just going to net us, I obviously have no idea, but at the end of the day, something's better than nothing. That is the cultivation done. But yeah, this should just use whatever crash we've got around the farm. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just get some of this done off camera and then I'll bring the folks back once we're you know, once we're done, and we'll at least a forge wagon. Yeah, I think we'll at least a forge wagon, and see how much size we can potentially make. And there we go, done all. What I could off the mowing off the grass. I think at the end of the day it's not going to be perfect. And actually, in terms of where we're actually going to do a bit, I'm actually not going to put into the bunker side because actually having a look at the prices for silage actually the best place to sell is at the bell cell point area so 
obviously we could say loosen that potentially, but I think we might as well just make sludge bells. Also, I did on yeah, I was on about getting a sludge beater and that, or bell wrapper, should I say, a few episodes ago. And I think with the money we've got now, with the amount of money we're going to be making, we can use this as a good opportunity to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell this wind rower. Here in the right spot, and then next time, what we'll do is make some sludge bells. Ours is going to take about 24 hours or so, well, a month to ferment. Well, that's right, so we'll go and repeat you 12 grand, so yeah, not a lot of money. But potentially, if we go and have a look. Uh, which one's it? Two beaters. Ah. We can't buy it outright, but we could go ahead and just lease it, couldn't we? Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just lease it. Because we need it once for this year, because even if we plant the grass today, it's not going to germinate until spring, so... And also we need a particular wind rower, which I hopefully I've got installed. Yes we have, we got the front wind rower. So that's oh dang it, I shouldn't have pulled that, I should have just leased it. So until that is 1 150 plus 80 is 230, so we just just outside the power range, but Hopefully, we should be fine still, so... Dang it, I hate this binary, it's just... Whoever drops these off does it in the complete opposite direction to where it should be, or oh, nope. That's not ideal. Let's do like a million point turn. There we go. Stop smashing into the dealership if I can. There we go. So yeah, if we say we want to make 150 centimeter bells, obviously we could do 180 centimeter bells, but of course we won't be able to wrap it at that size. So 150 is a reasonable. Yeah, because even 150 was like, what, 8,000 a year, 7,000 a year bells, I think? So, in theory, we should see how much silage we can get from this. Obviously, it's not the biggest on wind in the world, but. To keep it like relatively straight in there. It should just pop into the beater just fine. Oh, there's so much grass everywhere. Oh, I'm missing a couple of spots here and there, but a lot of, a lot of the moan I've been doing is just to shoot at random places. So there we go. Bells have come out. So it's five and a half thousand year bell, so but even then that's what five and a half thousand years. Uh the current sale price off four four seven. I think what's that? About two and a half grand, three grand, roughly. So yeah, they were not too bad deal. But on that note, that is where we're going to leave off today. I know it was a bit of a short episode. I think, I know some people do like the short episodes, which I don't mind either way. Plus, with my health in that, over the next couple of days, I may just be doing like short episodes on all my Let's Play series. Yeah, like massive bits ever missing already, but... But, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. 
If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me from my Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.